What's going on YouTube? Chris Lee here with another video. Uh, on this video, I kind of want to talk about home time. Uh, at Stevens Transport last week, I went on home time. Um, it was scheduled actually for this week, but um, I had to re-sign my lease for my apartment. I have an apartment with my brother and my girlfriend and my son stay there while I'm not there. Um, so we have a two bedroom apartment and I was going home to re-sign the lease and a day before I get there, I'm in Louisiana, a day before I get home, my apartment caught fire. Um, so I, that was really, it wasn't good news. Um, I think that I affirm, it was an affirmation. Like I didn't, I didn't want it to burn down. <laughs> I didn't want it to burn down, but I was happy that I didn't have to pay rent anymore. I don't, I, I, I keep, I get to keep that check. I get to keep that money in my pocket. Um, I kind of had affirmed it. I was talking to my, my wife and, um, my girlfriend is my wife. Um, I was talking to her and I was like, why don't you go live with your mom? Like, so, cause I, I'm, I'm real cheap. I don't, I'm tired of paying rent. I want that money to be in my pocket. So I was like, why don't you go live with your mom? Why don't you, I'm just trying to figure out, I'm like, get out my pocket. Like, that's just all I wanted. I was like, come on, we got to figure something out. And I'm just like, I'm, and I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, I just want to, I don't want to pay that rent no more. Like, I feel like it's just a, 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 a payment that can go for me to save to I, where I can save that money. And I'll be closer to my goal of maybe buying a truck one day. So I'm just in my head. I'm like, how can I get her out the house? How can I get her out the house? So I'm like, hmm, I'm just thinking. And I heard that and I was like, ding, boom. So <laughs> I know it's kind of messed up having my, my, my girl and my son out there, but they got somewhere to go. So I wasn't worried. Um, and I knew that. So they told me the news. My brother, or my girl told me the news. My brother don't communicate with me as much as she does. So I think she told me that um, we had a house fire. And um, it wasn't that, it wasn't really bad. It was just like um, some smoldering between the third floor. I live on the third floor. And the second floor, like, I guess, between those floors, there was like some smoldering or something. And it turns out, like, my brother had a friend over and he was smoking cigarettes on the patio and he will put them out. There was a, it's a grill on the patio. He will put the cigarettes out in the grill and leave them in there. So, um, that's what started the fire. Like a cigarette, he like kind of somehow got out the grill and got in the crevice between the third and the second floor. And it wasn't like a flame fire. It was just a smolder. So, like, it could have been in there for a week or two weeks, but it's been growing as, a, like, a, a fire. It's been, like, just smoldering. So it's like the, a cherry, like the cherry at the end of a cigarette or whatever else you smoke. Um, there's no flame, but it's going to keep burning everything around it. It's going to burn everything around it, and it's going to keep going. As long as that wind hitting it just right, like, it's going to keep keep it in motion. So it's been smoldering for like, who knows how he been there for a week. So, um, it's been smoldering and like, I guess it just started smoking and, um, it just, it, it, we didn't get it bad on our, on the third floor. Um, it was just a lot of smoke and I guess the fire sprinklers came on on the second floor and I know the guy on the second floor He's he's a great guy. Um, um, so I talked to him. I came home. We moved. We moved everything out of the apartment. We had to move out because it was like holes. It, it was firefighters that had holes in the walls and everything because they were trying to figure out where to what the source of the fire was and how to just put it out. So um, we had holes in the wall. It was like smoke. You could smell smoke from downstairs and upstairs. And um, like I said, the sprinklers on the second floor, they came on so when sprinklers come on like they kind of they really get to working 
And uh, so that kind of damaged the people on the first floor. The first floor had some damage as well. So the whole side of the building, like everybody was out. They cut the electricity off. Um, so we was moving out and there wasn't no air or nothing like that. So it was hot. But me, like I, I'm used to moving out. I had my own moving company for over a year. Um, and one day I'm going to get back to doing that. Um, but everybody had to move out. So I get there. Like I said, the day before I got there, it, it burned down or it started. Like we had the fire. The day I get there, um, I don't know if I went to the apartment that day. I think I just went to go look around or something. Because I didn't feel, I, was, I just got out the truck. I'm not trying to do nothing. Like, so the next day, like I, I did go to the apartment that day just to look around. But the next day, um, I was going to kind of start moving stuff. And that night, the night before, like I said, I, I touched down. I didn't want to move nothing, but I just went with to check it out. I'm talking to my girl. And um, she's like, I bought you this game. I know that you wanted it. And it turns out it was Destiny 2. So I'm like, dang it. Why did she buy this? Because <laughs> I'm going to want to spend time playing the game. And I was like, you know, this is going to take away from me and you, like our time together, because you bought me this game. I was like, I just want you to understand that before I turn this Xbox One on. Like, just so you know, you messed up. But I'm very happy. I really appreciate it because I wanted to play this game. Um, so I didn't have the Xbox. It was still at the house. So I had to I had to go get the Xbox from the house. It was about 9 o'clock. I went to go shoot to the house, grab the Xbox. Like I said, completely dark. I had to use my flash on my camera. Like, I couldn't really see anything. But I did get the Xbox. Um, I came back to my mom's house. That's where we were chilling um, until we got everything moved out. Came back to my mom's house, and I set that bad boy up. I was playing Destiny. I played for a little bit, and then um, I went to bed because I knew the next day I had to move. And um, I haven't moved in a while, so I knew I needed my rest. So um, I woke up, and uh, we found out that that night around 12 o'clock, there was another fire. And this time... There was flame. Like, what happened was, like I said, they turned the electricity off. Hang on. They turned the electricity off. I had a spit. I think it's something in my throat. I don't know. They turned the electricity off. And then, for some reason, they turned it back on. And when they turned it back on, like some wires or something had got uh, frayed in in between the first fire, and now when they turned the electricity on, boom, that started the next fire. This time it was flames. This time it was a full blown fire. This started on the first floor, and um, they had like their bed burn or something like that. And then like on top of that, the uh, apartment complex cut all the fire alarms off in the building like no fire alarms went off we wouldn't have known about the fire unless like someone on the first floor like started smelling smoke and then they came out and saw smoke and then they walked around and saw flames mind you it already smelled like smoke so i'm just really happy nothing bad happened because that's that's crazy so uh, um the day we moved out well, we couldn't move out the third day because the fire departments, they're, they're back over there investigating, trying to figure out what's going on. Like they tried to, they tried to, they tried to come at me. They came at me sideways. Whoever it was, the investigator was like, I was walking to the apartment because when I got there, we, we, we went there to move out. And then that's when we found out the second fire had happened. So I got there and I saw a fire department on my, on, on my balcony and they were like, just kind of looking around. And that's how we figured out that it was from a uh, cigarette. Like, but when they came down, when they was done with their investigation, that's when I was going to go upstairs to like, just kind of see what was going on. And then the, the guy came at me kind of sideways. He was like, Hey, do any of y'all smoke up there? And I was like, I don't know. Nah, like, I don't know nothing. 
Like, I wasn't here, so I can't tell you what was going on. Like, I don't know the specifics. So I was like, you have to ask my brother. And he just kept kind of coming at me sideways. And I was like, you're going you're gonna to stop coming at me sideways if you want to know anything, if you want any information from me. Because I'm not, you're not going to take me out of my chill mode that I'm always in and I'm always going to be in to come to your level. Like, that's just not going to happen. You can try, but it's not going to happen. So I'm like, bro, like, whatever. Say what you want to say. I don't know what happened. I wasn't here. Ask my brother. So he's all like on 10. And um, my brother is like kind of talking to him. He was like, uh, what did my brother say? Because my brother didn't think that the fire was started from the cigarette. Because my brother had showed me, like, he was like, this is where they said it started. And he showed me, like, where the cracks was. And I was like, ain't no crack. Like, I don't see nowhere a cigarette can get into anywhere. So I was like, at first I was like, because at first I, th I thought it was him, um, the guy that was smoking cigarettes. I was like, that's, that's, it was his fault. But then I went up there and looked. My brother was like, how can a cigarette get in there? And I was like, okay, maybe you're right. So I didn't want to put blame on nobody, but, but because he had he had tried to prove his um reasoning so i was like okay maybe he's right so um then the fire fire guy he was on 10 he was like y'all started it from a cigarette who smokes i was like but i don't smoke i never got down get the fuck up get out get out my face um so um him and my brother go upstairs and he's like showing my brother kind of how it started and whatever and I'm like, I guess my first thought was correct to, um, I guess to assume, which assuming is bad, but to, I just kind of put two and two together, actually. Like, I'm, cigarette, fire, okay. I ain't smoking a bear, but come on. Um, so that's, he explained how it started, and then whatever. He's like, y'all are actually not at fault. It's going to be like an insurance thing you didn't start the fire intentionally so i was like okay so cool um um where my rent money at that's what i want to know am i getting my deposit back so i went and talked to the manager of the apartment and she's like um the day before they had offered us an apartment in the same building and we thought about taking it because we had went to like apartment search we were apartment hunting the, the day before because we're like we got to figure out like where we're going to stay at what we're gonna do because we need to do it quick because I'm on home time I like I said I was supposed to come and get married and um, that didn't work out because I had to do all this stuff for this fire so um, but I do I do appreciate them giving me my home time early like my just my DM like it, they made it all work um, well, actually, I just told him, hey, I'm taking it because I'm an owner operator. I tell him what, hey, I'm taking my day off right now. I'm here. I'm home. I ain't getting back on that truck. I got stuff to work. I got stuff to do. So, um, like I said, we're looking for apartments. The apartment lady had offered us an apartment in the same building at the same complex that we're in. But then the investigator had kind of let her know, hey, this is what happened. So then she was like, hey, I, the deal's off the table. I can't give you guys that apartment. But. Um, I'll speak to corporate and we'll see about getting you your deposit and your rent back. I'm like, you're going to give me my deposit and my rent back. I need that money. So um, I'm actually getting that back. Um, but we were like, all right, cool. Like, we didn't want to stay in the same building anyways because this wasn't the first time that I know y'all see that fresh fade. If y'all saw my other videos, cause I got, yeah, you got to stay fresh out here on the road. I'm out here and uh, where am I at? Pennsylvania I just cut myself up a couple days ago but that got nothing to do with nothing um so she was like I'll get you your money back whatever I'm gonna talk to corporate and they gonna cut a check I'm like cool so the next day this is four days already that I'm here on home time not enjoying myself not putting a ring around and wrapping it up with my wife you know what I'm saying like I want to do um fourth day move day my favorite day you know i like to get my move on you know that's what i do so i'm like all right cool put myself in the zone for moving and um when i put myself in the zone for moving boy i'm, I'm in the zone like ain't nothing gonna stop me because when you move you gotta go you gotta go you, if you stop 
then if you take a break, you won't, you're going to mess up and you're not going to get everything done. And I know that. I've done over 100 moves. Like, I've owned this business for over a year. Um, so I know that if I show a sign of weakness, if I show a sign of fatigue or anything with my guys that I move with, they're going to show that sign too. They're going to start feeling fatigued. So I just keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. And, I mean, when I get in there, I, I just... I get so zoned in, I get so focused, like, I'm just amazing. Um, so, I go, I needed some boxes. I used to work at the mall, so I know that at the mall, you can get all kind of boxes. You just got to know who and how to ask. How you talk to people is a major key. Um, so, I'm in the mall. It's like early in the morning because I dropped my mom off at work so I could use her SUV. Um, dropped her off, went to the mall, Ravon Mills, and... Um, my brother had went there like the day before and he was like, no, I didn't see no boxes. Um, mission failed. So I went and I was like, hmm, let me see if I can finesse. So I went in there and I'm just chilling. I'm looking at the old stores I used to work at and I'm like, if I see some familiar faces, cause that's one key to success is just knowing people. What is it? The, the, just know, knowing people, whatever. So. I didn't see nobody in there. I saw this um, this guy was opening up the foot action store or some uh, shoe store for like foot action or foot whatever, foot locker, whatever. So I saw him. I was like, what's, what's good? I was like, um, do you have any boxes that I can get at my house just burned down? I would uh, really appreciate it. He's like, I'm sorry, boss. We don't got no boxes. Our shipment don't come in until tomorrow, but I will hold some for you if that's what you want. I'm sorry to hear about your situation. That's all, that's all good. I appreciate it. Um, so I went to another store. This lady has some boxes at the, the Texas store. It's a, it's a Texas store at the Grapevine Mills Mall. She, she was really nice. Um, she gave me some boxes. Um, she had to keep half of them to send back to the warehouse or whatever, but she gave me some. And it turns out that's all the boxes I needed. I needed one more box, but she gave me everything I needed. I loaded them up, went to the crib, packed everything up, got everything packed up and moved out. My brother went and got a truck, 17 foot. I was like, he was trying to move everything at one time. I was like, bro, you got too much. You got too much stuff. Like hoarding is a, it's a common thing in my family. I'm a minimalist. Like everything I got, like I move, I can move by myself. But I did have my girl there with me and I wore her out, boy. She was tired as heck. I, you know me, I just keep it moving. I made her look like a chump. I made him look like a chump. Cause I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm a mover. That's what I am at heart. So we got everything moved. Um, I got everything moved pretty much that day. The next day I took off of a break because I'm in this truck all day. I was, I'm not going to lie. I was sore as heck, boy. That was a full body workout. My ears were sore. I was like, oh, my God, don't touch my ear. But, um, I <laughs> but, um, I got everything moved out pretty much the first day. I just had like a couple more things and some trash to pick up. Um, I took a day off, went back the next day. What is that, six days? Six days of me? But before look, before I came in, I turned some paperwork in for a couple thousand miles, something like that. So I, I wouldn't be super behind. Um, but I, uh, six days, I took a break, went back the next day, wrapped it up, put everything in storage, or every that that stuff in storage. Um, oh, that's why I was so sore because I had to I had to move my stuff and my brother's stuff. I had to help him move his stuff. But um, yeah, I was sore. Got everything moved. Turned the keys in. Chill. And uh, like the day after that, I was back on the truck. I had a load ready to go. That was it, man. So when you're home time, if you're an owner operator, like don't be don't be scared to say, hey, I need some home time. Or if you're at home and you need an extra couple days, man, that's your couple days. Like you the boss, bro. Do that. Do what you gotta do. I should have said I need. Well, no, I needed some money, so I couldn't take that. I was like, baby, I'm I'm gonna come back. I promise. We're gonna get married. Just just look at this finger. It's not the middle finger. Just you know that one. So. I was like, hey, it's going to happen. Like, it's going to happen. But we just had some stuff that took place to where we couldn't really 
get that done. And I had already paid for this online course. And I took that online course and I feel so much better about this whole industry. Um, but I'm going to get out here. This video is already 20 minutes. That's a whole lot of minutes. Hope you watch to the end. Um, Chris Lee here signing out. Hey, man, take it easy. Don't get too stressed on that truck. Like, breathe. Take it one day at a time. Peace out.